Hi, it's Karen from Simply Said with Karen. And one of the questions I've been asked is, how do you add the extension onto your thinlet, so either your circle thinlet or your label thinlet, to make a full card? So if you were to just use your thinlet regularly, you would get this style of card. Um, and this is cut five and a half by six. Now, if you want to add the extension, you would cut the cardstock five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm just going to run that through there to show you the, the way that you can set it up. So I have my thin left here. So I'm going to start with the five and a half by six. So I'm just going to make my sandwich and it is the magnetic board, which I hope you have. It's wonderful. The cutting plate, the thinlet die that just fits over top of the, um, the cardstock. So we just want to get it centered a little bit. Okay, so we have the thinlet lined up on our cardstock. And so we're just going to run it through the big shot now. I moved it a bit, so we're back to square one. There we go. Yeah. So this is how it's set up. So we're just going to cover this now with our other cutting plate. And you will notice that this is the first time you're using your thinlets. They will crack and pop, but that's okay. So we just run it through. There we go with the pop. There. So we we'll just take it out and have a look. So there is your card cut. So you just take it and the fold lines or the score lines are all there. So this way and then this way. Sorry. I always get this backwards and I have no idea why. Okay, so then we have your um, all the folds there so you can fold it and this is the interactive card that um, people can have fun with when they receive it. So now this just is a panel there that you can decorate and the front panel and of course there is additional die cuts that come with the circle framelit so you can use those to decorate your card. So now maybe you want a card where you have an inside panel and to write something on because the other the only other thing you can do is write on the back side of this card if you uh, choose to decorate it. So what you need for that <coughs> is your five and a half standard five and a half cut and then by eight and a half. So we're going to take this See if I can do this balancing. Probably would have been a good idea to move the move out the big shot, which I think I will do. So lay your cardstock just normally, but what you do with this one end is just slide it so that it's on top of that bottom bar. And then line it up. Now this is very tight fitting, so you need to be careful that you don't crease your card or cut your card stock. So get it lined up there. So you get it set up on there. Then you just add your cutting plate. And we'll just bring the big shot back in and cut it out. So we'll take it 
take it out and we'll see the extension on the card. So now you're going to have a full card. So this one is, let's see I didn't have it set up properly. We'll just cut that off. So you can, your score line where you added the extension is there. So you can just fold that up. And use your bone folder or give it a good crease. And then there's a fold there and a fold there as in the other one and there you have your full card now that you can decorate so you can write on the inside of that panel or and decorate this one so you now have two options you can either have this version using the five and a half by six inches to cut it or you can use the five and a half by eight and a half now just another cute little tip is I've seen it where you can actually have it a card this way so that they, your recipient will open it like this and have a, a message inside so it's just turned um, 90 degrees or you can do it this way and have your card flipping up like that. So give it a try. The finlets are fun and um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. I can always be reached at Karen at simplysaidwithkaren.com. Thank you and have a great day. I am, I am, I am.